tell you what's happening. Let's, uh, you know, um, you know, I speak out against uh, gay folks and stuff, and I tell them a lot of things about, hey, you need to suck it up, and this and that and the other and deal with it. Not everybody's going to like you and, and everything. And, you know, they, they want to make a big claim around bullying. And um, I guess, I, you know, now, now that I'm a little bit more calmed down, I can tell you why, you know, I'm seeing that as a bald ass excuse for doing all this extra stuff. Um, about 1986. Yeah, I saw the fourth fifth grade, right? And, um, and there was this kid named Michael Prim coming out of school. And I remember, I thought he was a decent kid. He was kind of a new kid. He, I don't remember him going there for a while, but kids used to pick on him. I mean, they had, they had him looking like the beginning of the Double Dragon video game and cats just stealing on him left and right, you know, and, and stuff. But I mean, we come to school not too long after that, and everybody gets called to their auditorium. And, and, you know, kids picked on this boy a lot, you know. I never did, personally. I thought, he was a, I thought he was a pretty cool guy, to be honest with you. You know, but I was trying to be friends with everybody when I was a kid. I, I was a lot more friendly than I am nowadays. This was before a lot of bullshit happened to me. But, uh, you know, that, that boy, he went home, and uh, by the time his friends came home from work, he came back to school, they found him hanging by a belt in his closet. You see what I'm saying? Now, that boy, this, this took place in grade school, you know? He wasn't gay. He wasn't walking around like that. He was just different. And, you know, kids are mean. And, you know, it, it happens in every generation. I mean, you see it in movies. We get grown. We, we laugh about it. Because they're like, hey, we went through that hard knocks life, you know, a school of hard knocks and stuff. You, you live and you learn. And everything. And, and yes, it's sad that that boy hung himself. It's like, why wasn't a big old fucking deal made about this thing? You know? Uh, you know I come from the old school. You get picked on at school, you fight or you get beat up. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got beat up 20 times before you actually won that fight. But you fight, you don't just sit there and get your ass whipped, you know? And, you know, there's some kids that if they don't fight back, they, they get a whipping when they get home. You know, so you're not going to be a punk and everything. And it might seem kind of primitive or uncivilized to people who didn't grow up in that environment. But, hey, you know what? It's a reality. You know what I mean? So forget what you're talking about if you got a whole bunch of stuff to say about it, to be honest with you. It's a reality and everything. And, um, you know, bullying needs to stop all around the board. You see what I'm saying? Because you ain't got to be gay to be picked on. A lot of people are like, yeah, Marcus, you got little man syndrome. Well, but, you know, I'm not I'm not big at all. I'm 5'7". I'm like 140 pounds. But I am a little guy. You know, and little guy's got to fight a little harder spot sometimes. You know, and I didn't, I didn't get this far in life by just laying down to die. Um, that's, that's just not my speed. You know? same time, we need to be mindful of these things and what we are teaching our children, you know, because it takes a real messed up person to pick on somebody at a time of weakness, to kick somebody when they down, to just do somebody wrong all together, especially uh, when they're in a vulnerable situation. Um, I kind of wonder, like, how parents are raising their kids. I see some of these grown people out here and some of the people that I even deal with. Um, it makes me wonder about their parents. Um, you can say what you want to about mine. Mine didn't teach me to be this way. I was a hard-headed kid. I took off and did what I wanted to when I was about 14 or 15 and been doing it ever since. So, yeah, it's like that. And, um, but that's called, what I just explained was accountability. I've never been a bully. But I've been bullied. I am I got my ass kicked until I kick some ass back. So anybody who out there being bullied, whether you gay, straight, black, white, blood, crip, GD, vice lord, whatever you're going through, right, stand up for yourself. You're a man or a woman before anything, okay, before anything, any label you attach to yourself. You're a man or a woman before anything, and you have the right to be treated as a human being. And that being said, I know that you turn but the shoes just lace it up. Get a makeover. It makes you look ugly. I'm E.B. I'm out. I.P. Michael Prince.